Not every woman who's sexual is a size two. Not every woman who's sexual is walking like a supermodel. And not every woman who's sexual is lighter than a paper bag. As an actor of color, you're not getting paid the same way. You're not seen the same way. They won't consider you for the love interest. They won't consider you for a role they wrote for Sandra Bullock or Reese Witherspoon. You can't be a Meryl Streep if you're the third girl from the left in a narrative with two scenes. I got the Oscar, I got the Emmy, I got the two Tonys, I've done Broadway, I've done TV, I've done film, I've done all of it. I have a career that's probably comparable to Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, let's Sigourney Weaver, they all came out of Yale, they came out of Juilliard, they came out of NYU, they had the same path as me, and yet I am nowhere near them. Not as far as money, not as, as far as job opportunities, nowhere close to it. You pay me what I'm worth. I think that's what's happened to us throughout history is the dehumanization of us has made it possible for us to be hated. So now the stigma is to just humanize us. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of art. I'm worthy. When I came out of my mom's womb, I, I came in worthy. I do know that especially women out there, I'll, I, I'll just say this, mm -hmm. that they're not comfortable with just sitting back anymore, that they want to play a more active role. I know Taraji P. Henson, I know Kerry Washington, I know Halle Berry. They're, they're walking and stepping into their power as producers. They're putting the narratives out there that they want to do, that they want to see other women of color in. And my whole, I, my whole thing is step up to the plate. When you are in a position of power, do something with it. I'd like to thank Paul Lee, Shonda Rhimes, Betsy Beers, Bill DeLee, and Peter Nowak for thinking that a sexualized, messy, mysterious woman could be a 49-year-old, dark-skinned, African-American woman who looks like me. I see a line. And over that line, I see green fields and lovely flowers and beautiful white women with their arms stretched out to me over that line. But I can't seem to get there no how. I can't seem to get over that line. That was Harriet Tubman in the 1800s. And let me tell you something. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. You cannot win an Emmy for roles that are simply not there. So here's to all the writers, the awesome people, people who have redefined what it means to be beautiful, to be sexy, to be a leading woman, to be black. And to the Taraji P. Hensons, the Kerry Washingtons, the Halle Berrys, the Nicole Baharis, the Megan Goods, to Gabrielle Union, thank you for taking us over that line. Thank you.